Hi everyone and welcome to You're a Poet and You Know It. My name is Miss Stephanie and I'm with Mishawaka Penn Harris Public Library and today I'm very excited to talk to you about poetry. So we are going to talk about different types of poetry, actually I have three different today, and then you will get the opportunity to write your own poetry today. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And the first type of poetry we're going to talk about is acrostic poetry. So acrostic poetry is where you have a poem where certain letters will in each line spell out a certain word or a phrase. So the example I have, which of course I work in a wonderful library, so I use the word read. So for me, it's R-E-A-D. And then when you have and you create an acrostic poem with the word right here, read, you come up with a word or a phrase that can be spelled using those letters. So for mine, for the letter R with read, I wrote relaxing. E is enchanting, A is action-packed, and D is dazzling. So for the acrostic poems, it's really fun. You can, like I said, you can create a phrase, you can just choose a one word. A lot of times, and this is something that I'll suggest to you later as well, a lot of times um, we do it with our names. So for Stephanie, mine would be a little bit longer, but for Stephanie, I would pick something that represents me as a person for each letter. So for S, um, I might choose the word super, or uh, for T, I would say talkative. I love to talk. So what you would do is you use and you select words that describe the main word that you're selecting, okay, or the phrase. So this is the example of an acrostic poem. Um, like I said, you can use your name. A lot of times people use long phrases, um, but it's really fun. You can just have a great time with it. So that is acrostic poetry. The next one is rhyming. And I know a lot of you know how to rhyme. Uh, we've all read Dr. Seuss. It's so much fun. Um, but I have some examples of rhyming poems that I have written. Um, and then I've got a couple examples as well um, from some from a famous poetry poet. So the first one that I have written is called Wednesday. And it goes, I went to find a bee, but on my way I skinned my knee. My mom gave me an ice pack. After that, I had a snack. Okay, so it rhymed, it's a little interesting. Apparently that's how my, my Wednesday went one day. But with rhyming, it's a repetition of similar sounds occurring at the end of lines and poems or songs because we all listen to music and a lot of times you're listening to music, it's poetry. I mean, you're listening and you might get the rhyming at the end or the, it, the main goal is to listen for the repetition. So that is one of mine. The other one I wrote, um, it goes, there once was a cat who slept on a mat. He loved wearing a hat, but after the lady gave him a pat, his hat was very flat. Okay, so these are really fun. It's so much fun to come up with your own poems. Um, the next example I have is actually from um, Shel Silverstein, and he has written, it's from the book, A Light in the Attic. And I do have permission from Harper Collins to read this book to you. It's this book right here, I'm sure some of you guys have read this before. Um, so I have picked out two poems that are really fun and they have some fun rhyming in them. So the first one is called, What Did? So it goes, what did the carrot say to the wheat? Let us rest, I'm feeling beat. What did the paper say to the pen? I feel quite all right, my friend. What did the teapot, teapot say to the chalk? Nothing, you silly, teapots can't talk. Okay, so that one's pretty funny. And you hear the repetition of the sounds. You hear how similar that sounds. Um, the last one is called Bear in There. There's a polar bear in our frigid air. He likes it because it's cold in there. With his seat in the meat and his face in the fish and his big hairy paws in the buttery dish, he's nibbling the noodles, he's munching the rice, he's slurping the soda, he's licking the ice. And he lets out a roar if you open the door to know he's in there, that polar bear in our frigid air. Okay, so these are really fun. And I want to provide some examples so that way when you guys are working on your own poems, you'll be able to have some insight and some examples. So that would be rhyming. The last form of poetry we are going to talk about today is haiku. Now, a haiku is a traditional form of Japanese poetry, and it, haikus are typically written in five, seven, five. So that means there's five syllables in the first line, seven syllables in the second line, and five syllables in the third line. A lot of times, traditionally, they're written um, about weather, um, 
but today I'm going to give you guys some ideas and you guys can write it how you want. Um, they're typically shorter poems as well. So you'll see that in a couple of the examples that I have. So this is one that I wrote. It's called Indiana Summer. Summertime is hot. I always pack my sunscreen. I have fun outside. So let's test your syllables. Um, have you guys done this before where you count using with the sounds in your fingers? We'll do this together. So the first line, summer time is hot. So you have five. I always pack my sunscreen. So that's seven. And the last line is I have fun outside in five. So is that right? Yes. So what we talked about was with a haiku, it goes five, seven, five, each line. And like I said, a lot of the traditional haikus are written about weather. I chose to write about weather just because it's pretty warm outside, but it's beautiful because it's sunny outside today in Indiana, but I wanted you guys to see that. And now what I'd like you to do is take the time to write your own poem. So we're going to start with the acrostic poem. So what I would like, and I'm going to do mine as you guys are doing yours again, um, select a word. You can select your name as well. Um, whatever you would like to write. I'm going to give you guys some time and you're going to write your acrostic poem. So go ahead and find a pencil, pen, any sort of writing utensil and some paper. And I'm going to give you time to write your own acrostic poem. And when I check back in, then I'll share my new one with you as well. So go ahead and if you would like, we're going to actually pause. So go ahead and pause and we're going to take some time to write this, okay? All right, and welcome back. I hope everyone had a blast writing their own acrostic poem. So I created my own and I wish I could hear all of the poems that you guys created, but I'm very happy you had fun with this. So my acrostic poem I did, the first one like I said was read. So this one I went with the same theme and I went with library. So for library, I wrote L for literature, I inspiring, B books, R for reference, a, amazing, R, read, and Y, yay, because it's just love the library. So that is my acrostic poem. I hope you all had a lot of fun with that. And now you can write acrostic poems anytime. So the next one we're going to do is the rhyming. Um, again, listen for the sounds. If you're not sure if two words rhyme, say them out loud. That's great. It's, it's the best way to hear if you can hear the similar sounds and always keep the repetition going. So go ahead and pause the video right now and take your time and come back whenever you are done writing. There is no time limit on this. So go ahead and test it out. I will do the same. All right, and welcome back. So hopefully you had your time to write your rhyming poem. I'm gonna share mine with you. Um, I had some inspiration from our uh, Hound Dogs haiku. So my rhyming poem is called Dogs. And it is, it goes like this. My dog loves to bark, especially when it's dark. I tell him to come in and he has the biggest grin. So I made mine kind of short. You can write it as long as you want. You can continue this anytime, but that's how rhyming works. So listening to bark in dark, and in and grin. All right, great job. So the last poem we're gonna try to do um, that I'm gonna have you try is the haiku. So we remember with haikus, it goes five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables. So five, seven, five. So make sure, especially when it comes to syllables, I've been working on this for a long time and practicing with haikus and practicing with syllables. I still say it out loud and I count using my fingers just to make sure. So, um, Go ahead and try it out and practice and feel free to pause this and come back when you're ready. Okay, so hopefully you've had time to write. If not, remember, pause the video, keep working on it. Um, so the haiku I did, again, with the theme of libraries and reading is books. So I wrote, I love to read books. I enjoy picking them out. They are so much fun. I love to read books. I enjoy picking them out. They are so much fun. So that was five, seven, five, All right? And again, 
there are so many different types of poetry and different types of poems that you can create. Um, these are three that I find really fun and entertaining, and it's something that I think it's nice to practice. So again, if you're really interested in poetry and you want to try and look for different types of poems, there are tons of books and tons of different options that you can look at. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me for a poet and you know it. You've all done a fantastic job today and share your poems with somebody. All right, have a great day. See you soon.